Hello YouTube designers and welcome on to this tutorial. My name is Peter. Head on to this tutorial. We just go see how we can be able to add this make an inquiry for this product or inquiry how to make an inquiry form for your e-commerce website or your WooCommerce website. How this uh, how this plugin will help us is that it will add this form where a customer can be able to ask question about the uh, particular product or specific product and you can get to answer them. This is how the form will look like. Uh, I'll show you how to customize this button here. I'll provide the CSS. All you just have to do is just copy and paste. I'll provide the link on the description where you can get the CSS. I'll click on this button it will have this form here one what you just need to do is fill in the name customer you just need to fill in the name to fill in the fill in the for the email they can fill in the phone number so that you can be able to call uh, let me just write a random number like that and the subject or just uh maybe on offer or maybe how the size or not that and the inquiry and on that they can set it themselves of a copy and they can even give the army the light to use the information or to contact them and what they just need to do is just this click this and you see they have a minimum of 10 characters so let me just offer about 10 characters here and we try to do it and you see inquiry was sent successfully on and the admin on the other end will be able to see, receive an email where they can respond to the email and we just start you'll be able to be able to answer those question arising on the product on your website it will just be easy so without, without further ado let's just get into action and i show you how so the first thing you just need to do you need to get to the dashboard and draw the dashboard main scroll now to help you have the plugin on hofa we have this the option select the second one because we need to install a new plugin just come here just come here and search product inquiry for WooCommerce is a free plugin but it's gonna do amazing things here we have product inquiry for WooCommerce is from uh with wisdom labs uh, i don't know if i named it the way it's supposed to be named but it has 10,000 active installation last updated two days ago since the day i'm doing this tutorial so i need to install the plugin and after successful installation we activate the plugin here now we have it you can see now it has been activated and now we have this button here but only just go to the shop here and we open the shop here you just need to open a, a one product so i just open one product here and now you see now we have this button the way it look doesn't really look amazing but uh on click it has the, this form and you can see how it look like so we just need to customize few things here and there for us to have a very good one like this one you're going even to customize the button like this the way it look here and yeah we're also going to remove this one yeah i'm just going to provide the css for that but for now let's just go to it and we customize it so on the dashboard menu scroll now where we have this button click on it and it open this form here it just feel few uh, few setup you just need to set up so just need to set the recipient email who will be receiving the email maybe with the team for the support and you have a custom email uh, email for them you can just create it here and you can uh subject maybe inquiry for the product you can customize this text and give something reason this is the one that you're going to receive on your email at your end so send email to admin yeah admin should receive an email uh if it's a multi-vendor website and you want also want uh the product or that receive the email just tick here and you can disable uh this one is when you're having some errors you see it doesn't look good you can tick this one but most of the time it's not recommended but you can check if you're having so many errors so from there now uh you have now this button the way it look here you can customize this text here and uh, you see inquire for this product so i can customize it you can just remove make inquiry and so we say inquire for this product 
you can customize them just give it a good name and now where do you want it to be located for now you can see it is located here but what if you see uh on the single product summary we just let's see where it is be located let's save this one here we have saved it so we need to refresh here so you see it just disappeared here and now this is where it will be located so i just need to customize it also so let me just go back here or oh, i just want to have it as after i to cut button so from there display inquiry button is a link yeah this one you can uh it can be be look like a link so we can just display it as a link and from there now we have need now this set copy remember on this one here we have now it had this uh, one can be able to send themselves a copy and from there you can also allow the admin to use or uh, to use the information the customer can allow the admin to use the information like email and phone address to discuss the inquiry so you can just allow that one it's good to be transparent uh, for this so i just display here and you can also display telephone number and make telephone number field mandatory. if you want this phone number to be mandatory all you just need to stick this one it will be it will be mandatory if you have css but don't worry about that one i'll show you how you can get them so display terms and conditions yeah check and save you can customize this one in it. nowadays with the way the data uh, people that have been handled is good to allow this one and you can give and give create a privacy policy page and to have your policy uh privacy for that so with that now we can just refresh and see what we have just created so far this is what we have just created and on click you can see how it look like you can see it has all these one can be able to fill and has so many things wow uh, you can see we have even this copyright here so let's see how now we can be able to customize this button you can just uh i have just created the css code for you so what you just need to do is you click on the link on the description it will get you to this page and i have uh I have the CSS already, so we just need to customize the button. You can see the one we had here it is already customized and has a different background. You can see the border and all that. So what you just need to do is you go back to the dashboard here, go to appearance and customize. Depending on the depending on the theme you're using, you may find this stuff. Uh, this uh, this button on a different place, but it is supposed to be here on the far end so and for us to see uh, whatever you just creating just open one product and you can see now how uh, where it located so what i just need to do is i just need to copy this shortcut here i copy this one and i go back to customizer and i add the css here and i paste it and you can see it just change and you can be able to change the background here you can just delete this one and you can light a different one so it will depend on how you be able to see it you can go to record and find a good color but for now i'm just going to use green let's see green yellow look good you can see how it look like so with that now we have been able to customize that button without even purchasing for the premium pro uh, for the pro version for the plugin so let's now remove this text here so what you just need to do is you go and back there and copy the short code here copy and you come back here add some few lines here and you paste with that you have been able to hide in that just publish and with that you can just be able to close here let's go back to the shop page and we just open one product and this is how it look like and on click you can see it just well uh it just look amazing and let's try to see if it works we just do as the normal and we send it so remember we had to offer more than 10 character and we just send it let me open my email here and you can find and you can see it has the email from who inquiry from the, the shop and for the product it had the link 
the customer and uh, the customer email and the message and even the phone number you can uh, it he has accepted the inquiry terms and condition it has the summary for that in the email you're going to receive you as a client uh it has two one for the vendor and another one for so this one for the admin admin will receive this one and uh it has a summary for that and also it, it just give you some so many other information but this email for the admin but how it gonna look for you and your end that the tutorial on how you can be able to add inquiry uh inquire for this product or uh, inquiry form for your woocommerce website all for free if you get something out of this tutorial hit the thumbs up till next time thank you